What's going on, my people? Welcome back to Is Rocks More Reviews. And today we're going to be discussing, uh, to me, it's an iconic movie for many reasons. Um, this movie dates back all the way to 2016 and it's called Hush. You can find this movie on Netflix and it stars Kate Siegel and um, directed by Mike Flanagan, which has done uh, a few movies Absentia. Um, He's done Oculus, um, and he is uh, pretty much, you know, one of those directors that whenever I hear his name attached to something, you know, I'm immediately, for the most part, intrigued. And uh, man, this was one of those movies, um, kind of in the home invasion spectrum or genre, and uh, but with a twist. You know, this stars Kate Siegel, and. She's pretty much a deaf, uh, a deaf person, a mute. And the way she handles herself in this film, second to none, she actually co-wrote this film as well. And I've been wanting to uh, do a review on this because I feel like, you know, home invasion films, they have been done very poorly in my um, opinion. You know, the, the most recent one I saw was The Rental, which is also on Netflix. I did a review, you can check that out whenever you got time. Um, and I thought that movie was well done. But this movie right here, man, some are great. Like you have your next, which I think was on the top shelf. And some are tolerable, like The Strangers. And some to me are just downright terrible, right? Like When a Stranger Calls. And I'm talking about the 2006 version. Um, so how you know, does one make a home invasion film without fucking it up basically right um and you want it to stand out far from the rest so you get this there has to be uh some kind of twist which this movie definitely has um to the story to make it very memorable although this movie does have a few plot holes but they're very tolerable because the movie is just so well paced so well thought out um your next was a great deconstruction of the genre to me itself and I had the heroine be a survival specialist, which I thought was amazing. And that was kind of a secret uh, to her boyfriend. Spoiler alert for that film. Uh, the twist hush brings us lies in the fact that, you know, our protagonist is completely deaf. You know, uh, they show or explain, if you really pay attention to the film, um, that she wasn't born a mute. You know, at 13 years old, she caught meningitis and it basically you know, made her death. And the key element that makes or breaks this film to me was the sound design, the way uh, the movie was made. You know, it felt like uh, the crew pulled it off and we have a solid thriller on our hands here because Maddie, the main character, she's a deaf author, which I thought was cool. And, you know, she secluded herself in the house in the woods uh, to write her next book, you know? Problems arise when someone outside her house decides to play this deadly game. And Maddie, uh, for the most part, knows how to keep this man outside the house and has to keep him out so that way she could be able to, to escape alive. And again, this is a simple premise that is only made interesting by the fact that she's deaf and also that the filmmakers decided to handle the aspect of the story in such a unique way. You know, while the film does inevitably, you know, inevitably um, go down some routine routes with the story, you know, the director, Flanagan, does uh, so well with his skill, his finesse, and the talent that he had in Kate Siegel. Uh, multiple times throughout the film, we're in Maddie's shoes, which I thought was very unique. We're with the character the whole time as you know, the director completely mutes the audio in many scenes of the film. Um, we see the terror happening behind her, uh, in front of her. Um, and we can't hear it, which I thought was amazing. You know, we get to feel what she's feeling. She can't hear, we can't hear. You know what I mean? Whatever she can see, we see, and that's about it. We don't know if uh, the intruder's getting in the house. We don't know where he's at at certain times. And he could be entering the house at any point, and we will not know. I thought that was so cool. Uh, Flanagan manages to seep the viewer in 
suspense throughout the film. And while there's some gory and there's some kind of squeamish scenes, um, he doesn't rely on them. This movie's not there to provide the carnage candy that I love so much, right? In a horror film, but this movie's more than just a horror film, it's a thriller. It's very suspenseful throughout. Um, they, real, they, they feel real and they feel very earned throughout this movie. Um, looking back at the film, there are multiple sequences where I was taken back or I had a, a huge grin on my face with the, the, ingenuity, the ingenuity of it all because it's something I've never seen on screen. You know, people will ultimately, they will try to find um, the flaws and inconsistencies with how the film handles the deaf aspect. You know, and, and that I won't get into because obviously I'm not deaf. Uh, I don't really have family members that are deaf, so I don't know. And, you know, the one issue I had myself was, you know, the film's dialogue. Um, you know, although the main character is deaf, there's maybe 15 minutes total of actual dialogue speaking, you know. Um, but I can look past that for the benefit of my own selfishly enjoyment. And I ultimately had a blast with this film. You know, I had a small cast for only for about uh, four people and, you know, hardly any dialogue. You know, Hush is to me a well-crafted film that earns a viewing from anyone who likes this genre. You know, um, the film is nicely shot. There's some fantastic scenes that play on a collective home invasion. Um, this movie paranoids you. I was paranoid throughout certain times. Uh, and I think we all get there when we watch this film. The gore, like I mentioned before, is definitely kept to a minimum. But what is, there is extreme visceral. You know, the, the performances are solid, which is vital for a film like this. Um, and this film virtually revolves just around two characters. You know, the intruder and Kate, which is named Maddie in the film. And she, you know, like I mentioned before, co-wrote this film with the director, Flanagan. Um, and she's extremely, extremely believable. You know, when I first saw the movie, and I'm a huge fan of hers. I even forgot. I was like, is she deaf? But there's a scene in the movie where she's actually, you know, she does talk. She's talking to herself. And um, it's crazy how John Gallagher, who's, who plays the intruder, he plays such a really good role, uh, plays this. Uh, the anonymous nut job who is more despicable than he is scary um, where the film does falter a bit is in the last act uh, where the gimmick begins to wear off a bit as Maddie's situation grows more and more helpless uh, you know there is an amical payoff in the end um, that I didn't really see coming um, but you know overall I found Hush to be a well made film very enjoyable um, it's definitely a riff on the home invasion home setup. You know, with that being said, the film, to me, didn't grow dull or doesn't get boring at any time. And it actually goes really quick. And it offers, you know, little in the way of new ideas except for, you know, that death angle. But it does it with class. And all in all, it's very entertaining and fairly intense. And I think it's definitely worth the watch. You know, it's a fast-paced, modern um, slasher fic with a, with a twisted take to me on the genre. Um, this lead protagonist is going to have you crazy, you know. Although the cast does comprise of just four characters, there's nobody here you're going to miss except for the main character. It was a pleasant surprise. Uh, and I think, you know, there should be more directors, more actors to take a look at this and because this was brilliantly written, you know, choreographed um, well also, and, you know, equally inventive and enthralling. And, you know, Maddie's impressive, uh, impressive character. Um, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. You should definitely go check it out right now on Netflix. And if you like this review, hit that notification bell, hit that like button. And if you want more, please subscribe. Till the next one. Peace.